This is so simple. You mix the flour and the water and that's it. Welcome to the Dad Days. If this is your first time finding my channel, I just wanted to let you know that my content will be a little bit of everything. From sourdough starter like this video, to DIY home projects, to bread baking, to men's clothing staples, to taking leftovers out of the fridge and turning them into something new. Before we hop into this video, I just wanted to let you know, definitely stick around to the end of the video to find out exactly why this is the easiest, no waste, no discard recipe that you're going to find when it comes to sourdough starter. A lot of people overcomplicate it. There's different hydration levels, there's different weights for flour to water. This is so simple. You mix the flour and the water and that's it. So stick around to the end to find out why. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over a few items, not much, that I've found throughout the years that make it even easier to take care of your starter. The first thing is just a simple rubber spatula. Mix your starter up, you spray it off, it just stays clean. Simple as that. The next thing is a wide mouth bowl, a glass bowl especially. You want to use glass. Don't use plastic or rubber. They have off smells. It doesn't work great for starter. A lot of people use a, a mason jar when they're making their starter, but even a wide mouth mason jar, the threads get dirty. You can't get a measuring cup in it to, to scoop out when you're making a recipe. This is just nicer. I highly recommend a big wide mouth glass bowl, so find that. Other than that, that's really it. I'll change the angle of the camera and show you exactly how to do this. You're aiming to use a small amount of flour and water here and just build on this original batch every day. There's no set weights or measurements here. You're actually just going for consistency. Think pancake batter and shoot for that thickness. The reason that this is a no waste, no discard method is that I keep the starter in the refrigerator between uses. If I know I'm going to be making bread or pancakes or anything, I just get it out the night before or the morning I will be using it to feed it. Depending on the temperature, it takes anywhere from one to six hours to become active and able to use in a recipe. So I just plan accordingly. That's it. You store it in the fridge in between uses, get it out and feed it when you want to use it and feed it before putting it back in the fridge. If you haven't checked out my sourdough bread video yet, click on the link at the end of this video. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you are interested in my content. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more dad days.